So you spent a lot of time on stage talking about why simplifying networking is important. How would that make the market grow? You know, when I joined Juniper 20 years ago, it was all about scale and performance, just keeping up with the insatiable appetite for network capacity. Today, I think the issue is complexity. Complexity bogs us down, it locks up talent, it causes cybersecurity risk, and the way we've put a stake in the ground saying that the way we're going to solve this problem to our, for our customers is to abstract away that complexity, to take on the burden ourselves, and ultimately I think that frees up the capacity for IT, for operators to grow. And yet the router business, which is a huge part of your business, is. is shrinking and companies are replacing har the hardware with software. How do you overcome that? The router business is sort of a flattish market all up, but there are certain segments of the market, like in the cloud providers, where routing is actually growing. Mm. So that has been actually a growth driver for us at Juniper. The other thing is switching and security are both growth opportunities for us. Switching has been a great growth driver for us historically. We expect it to continue to be a growth driver for us in the future because it's at the heart of the cloud transformation that's happening in the industry. That said, some of these big cloud companies like Amazon, like Google, even Facebook have been actively talking about using their own software and becoming a larger part of the networking market. What is Juniper's play in it, that world? Yeah, it, you know, it is a competitive marketplace. We have peers in the industry that are comp competition, but we also in some sense compete with our customers like the hyperscalers who have the ability to develop their own infrastructure. But we demonstrate, we're always have to, we have to act like we're always on our toes, innovating and demonstrating that we can do a better job than anybody, including themselves sometimes. So you mentioned some of the opportunities outside of routers. You did miss the last couple of quarters. What is the plan to get back to growth and what can we expect? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, we started the year with a lot of momentum. The second half of the year has been a bit more of a challenge only because of the fact that we have a high degree of customer concentration. We serve some of the biggest customers, telcos, cloud providers, cable operators in the world. And that means that when there is a product transition or an architectural shift, as there is right now, it causes a bit of a hiccup in the business. But the, on the long term, as long as we remain relevant and competitive, which is exactly what we're doing, I'm very optimistic. A lot of gross margin pressure in the last few quarters. What's happening there? Uh, it's a, a few things. First, there are geographic uh, challenges where we're betting on certain opportunities in the Asia Pacific. There's supply chain challenges that is affecting the entire industry, especially around uh, commodity pricing of memory. Um, and then our, our business itself is shifting from routing to routing and switching, et cetera. I think we've got it under control and you know, we have a plan to recover. So there was a report that Juniper was the subject of a takeover bid from Nokia, a report not from Bloomberg, um, that Nokia denied. Would you listen to offers? You know, I'm running this company for standalone success. I think we've got a great strategy. We're executing well, and I'm optimistic about what's coming ahead. Do you see yourselves as more of an acquirer? Absolutely do, yes. Of I think what? That <laughs> uh, you know, so we first and foremost are focused on our innovation agenda, our internal organic innovation agenda, but we're always looking for capabilities along the lines of automation, making uh, the network simpler that can help us accelerate our strategy. And there are great opportunities out there to be an acquirer.